The Red Skelton Show with David Rose and his orchestra. And Red's guest stars, Cesar Romero. And Adele Mara. Here he is now, the star of our show, Red Skelton. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, and uh, we're going to start off well. The guy's got the cards all mixed up to start off with. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the name of the show tonight is going to be sort of a mystery show. It's called... What happened to the sweepstake ticket? Or you got something to cry about, Jack Parr? <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, uh, um, all week I looked for that thing. I must have put it in a book or something, you know, how you hide... You want to know something? I haven't spoken to Jack Benny for six months. And all last week he's been over at my house borrowing books. <laughs> <laughs> and the day he came in with red hair... I know what he's done because my hairdresser told me. <laughs> oh, anyhow, I feel good tonight. Everybody's been... They asked me in letters, how do I feel? I feel pretty good, you know. I, I was kind of ill there for a while. As a matter of fact, they had to give me a blood transfusion before they could give me a blood test. <laughs> and then they had to use Borscht. They didn't have any blood handy, so they used Borscht. And I broke out in lumps. <laughs> they forgot to take the potatoes out of them. <laughs> you know, I'm hard... I, I, I have a tough time going to sleep at night. I'm an insomniac. And how they ever got me to sleep for the operation, I'll never know. I do remember that when I woke up, that the intern was trying to put a handle on a hammer. <laughs> you know, I, I should have hired my brother to, to do the surgery. My brother was a surgeon. He was a very young doctor. He was a, sort of a genius. As a matter of fact, he delivered himself. <laughs> it's just tough to do Try patting yourself on the back, boy <laughs> My mother was not only surprised She was furious <laughs> You should see the billy hung on her <laughs> you know, Already? The, uh, when they go like that That means get off, Charlie I have one thing You know, when you talk about yourself About uh, operations or things like that People showing you operations You're always trying to impress someone For some reason And I'd like to do a little short pantomime now Of a little old man trying to impress his little friend, a little boy. Can I borrow my hat? Thank you. <laughs> Once there was a little old man. <laughs> and a little boy. <laughs> they were great companions and often could be seen at the amusement park together. A little old man would always like to impress the little boy. One day... He came upon one of those test your strength devices. Long time ago, we were sure 
in a fix. Back in 1836, we fought Santa Ana's men. They hit us again and again. Here we stood, fearlessly, striking a blow for liberty. We're mighty proud to know you remember the Alamo. were afraid unto themselves, rugged, vigilant, watchful. Such a man was Sheriff Deadeye, ready to spring into action at the first sign of danger, alert and wide awake. Last night, I didn't shut off my knees yet, so. You told me you're the bravest man this side of the Alamo. I am the bravest man this side of the Alamo. Old Sam Houston and Davy Crockett, they got all the publicity. <laughs> Did you ever hear the true story about the Alamo? No. That's the way I like them, young and innocent. <laughs> Pull up a chair and sit down, I'll tell you all about it. You see, the Mexican army had attacked the Alamo time after time. I finally got tired. Davy, only five of us left. That's right, Sam. And with the food we got left, the five of us can hold out for four days. Oh! Well, now the four of us can hold out for five days. <laughs> Three of us can hold out for six days. <laughs> with a little scrimping, you and me may make it to Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, thank goodness, that must be them new recruits. That's the last time I ever buy a horse from Gary Cooper. You've heard of Gary Cooper? The honest horse dealer? You horse dealer? <laughs> we get... <laughs> Just the rifles, did I? It's the what? Just the rifles. Is that all it was? <laughs> no. Davy. A little dab will do you. <laughs> I'm the Sheriff Deadeye reporting for duty. Where's the rest of your men? All wiped out. I'm the only one who got through. Well, Deadeye? Yeah, I owe it all to that tall horse of mine. It's a good thing he didn't have any aircraft guns invented yet. 
Then I got bad news for you. What's that? Santa Ann and his men outnumber us 4,000 to 3. No kidding. I got news for you. That's 4,000 to 2. But <laughs> What's the matter, Jedi? You got a yellow streak down your back? What's that? I say, have you got a yellow streak down your back? You bet your sweet life I have. <laughs> down my back, around my side, down my legs, and between every one of my little toes. <laughs> All 12 of them. <laughs> Where's your loyalty, man? It's yellow, too. <laughs> it's back at El Paso. I'm going to go get it. Well, if this is the enemy, I've decided to stay and fight. I'm the nurse. I take care of the wounded. Oh, well, you better take care of me quick. What's wrong? Oh, I don't know. I'll think of something. <laughs> the enemy's going to make an advance any minute. I don't blame him. She looks good to me, too. I mean, uh... <laughs> Santa Anna's attacking again. Grab your rifles. Get them. Grab, grab your rifles. Again. Everybody grab your rifles. Around. Make them think there's a... Careful, there's people up there. You can't see them. Jedi! Stay in the drinking water. That's all we have. You've huh? got to stay in that water. I think I hear a crocket, Cricket. <laughs> I mean, I think I hear a cricket, Crocket. <laughs> That's a good one, huh? <laughs> there's some noise out there, whatever it is. Men, there's only one way we can beat Santa Ana. One of us has got to sneak behind his lines, find out what his plans are. I know what his plans are. He's going to kill us. Get off. One of us has got to get behind those lines. Gentlemen, allow me. Did I? You gonna go? No, I'm gonna get that nurse in. She ought to be in this too, you know. There's only one fair way to do this. What's that? Let's draw straws. Oh, all right. I'll try something over here. I'll just use the ones that the prop man laid out. <laughs> I remember. The short straw goes. That's right, short straw goes. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Remember what I said, boys? The long straw goes. <laughs> now, wait a minute, Dad. I used the short straw goes. Yep, that's what you said. Oh, you ain't gonna stand and listen to a liar like me, are oh, you? Right, right. <laughs> now, wait a minute now. Oh, come on, come on now. Please, you guys don't understand. Out you go. Out you go. Out, 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 out. Out. I'm sorry, I'm taking a bath. You stay out there. Someday you two guys are going to be thankful to me that I made you famous. Then I, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. What's I won't stay in this fort with a yellow coward. Let me out. Well, you don't think I'm going to stay here with a yellow coward. <laughs> here, wait. Right Amigos, the Americanos cannot hold out much longer. By tomorrow, the Alamo shall be ours. Hey, hey. thanks <laughs> to you, Santander. You are a great leader. Now we celebrate our victory. Yeah. Hey, muchacho. Muchacho, venga aquí inmediatamente. <laughs> Ring, sir. <laughs> uh, si, si, senor. Uh, bring more food, more fried beans, more tacos, pronto. Uh, how about a melon? <laughs> oh, uh, I can I can give you fried beans and tacos, but we're all out of prontos. 
How about a side order of uh, cucarachas? Hey, where do you get such a strange tongue? What do you mean a strange tongue? I've got another pair just like this in my tennis shoes. <laughs> It's very funny, huh? Uh, I'll tell you one thing, you are no cantinflas. Uh, I don't know, I'm pretty peppy. <laughs> Amigos, here are secret orders. Pedro, you will take a thousand men and attack from the west. Sí. Jose, you take a thousand men and attack from the east. Sí, and then, amigos, cuando yo les doy la señal, atacan al mismo tiempo. Y yo atacaré la fortaleza para adelante y peleamos juntos para México a una gran victoria. Sí. Hey. Well, that takes care of the foreign market. <laughs> Hey, why don't you tell them that, that, all those orders in English? In English? Certainly. These Mexicans speak Spanish. They'll learn all your secrets. Oh, he's a smart muchacho. Yeah. Where do you get your brains? Well, I'm an honor student at Tijuana High. <laughs> Tijuana, Tijuana, Tijuana High. Hit him with an enchilada right between the eyes. Hey! Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait. Why, you are Mexican, huh? I never see a Mexican with red hair before. How do you explain red-haired Mexican? Well, a lot of people ask that question. Does he or doesn't he? Answer me. Well, uh, I eat a lot of red peppers and they go to my head. Yeah, red peppers, yeah. Huh? yeah I well, I'd soon find out if you are real Mexican. Well, I'm a real Mexican. Oh, Pedro, hand me the extra special hot sauce. Well, take my word for it. I don't know. <laughs> Junk. Please, I'll... Oh. What happened? <laughs> should be hot enough. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 then why are you crying? I miss my mom. <laughs> You're an Americano. No, I'm a Texan. Uh, you know what Santana does with spies? Oh, no, but tell me in Spanish. It won't seem so hard. Uh, todos los espías contra México mueren. Todos mueren como perros. No. Uh, English translation. You would like to smile on my throat? Good heavens. Don't kill me, Santa Ana. Please don't kill me. If you don't kill me, I'll have to name a freeway after you. <laughs> Uh, take him away. Tie him to that post. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's tight, boys. Hold it there. Hold it. You're getting rough. Come here. Let me talk to you. Hey! He tied the wrong guy. My father sends his gift for the victory celebration tomorrow. Oh, gracias, senorita. And who's your father? Don Manuel Gonzalez. He owns the vineyards on the hill. Uh, Pedro Jose, come. Sí. We hey, drink to the senorita's hey. father, Don Jose Man Manuel Gonzalez. Sí. Hey. hey, I'll drink to that, and I don't even know the bum. <laughs> Quiet, American dog. <laughs> I'd rather be an American dog than a Mexican hairless. <laughs> <laughs> Senor Gonzalez. Salud. 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 If it pleases the general, my father said I should entertain the soldiers. Are uh, you very kind, senorita? <laughs> Pedro de Quitar. Sí. 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 Can you don't know me? Well, that won't be hard. Who are you? Elaine, stupid. Elaine, stupid. <laughs> I never heard of her. <laughs> Remember the Alamo? Um, the nurse. No kidding. Hey, you're out of uniform. <laughs> what are you doing? Ow! And loose? No, but my fingers are hanging from a knuckle. <laughs> Come, I will dance with you. Here, I'll leave the knife with you. What food? Ooh, what a horrible place to leave a knife. <laughs> I thought you were tied to the boat. Yeah, I thought you were tied to the boat. Los americanos. Aquí está el americano. Ah, so you two are working together as spies, huh? You will both be shot at sunrise. What? Shot at sunrise? Jedi, think of something. I'll think of something. 
Shot at sunrise. I never get up till noon. You're in trouble, though. I'll think of something. I'll think of something. Santa Anna, I'm going to speak to you as man to man. I know that down deep there must be a heart somewhere. And I'm going to ask you, as a personal favor to me, shoot her. Don't shoot me. Take your positions. Prepare to face the fighting squad. Say, I've never seen one of these things before. You mind shooting her first so I can watch? <laughs> we kill him first. Take her back to the cell. Oh, wait a minute. I've never seen nothing like this. Why, you frenzying dog, you would never find Sundown hiding behind a woman's skirts. You don't know what you're missing. Quiet, son. Sundown would meet his death like a man. You mean you could stand in front of a fighting squad? Go on. Yes, I Go show on. you. I show you. Go on. Ready. Aim! But what am I doing? Fire! 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 You can all get a fire at all! I get a fire at all! I'll give you one back! All right, give me my bus fare back to the Alamo. Prepare to die at sunrise. Sunrise. Wait just a minute. How about a cigarette? They always give the condemned man a cigarette. All right, go ahead. One cigarette. Good. Break me that habit. <laughs> cigarette? No, that's just a filter. Here's a cigarette. <laughs> That awful look for something you find nothing but a hole. <laughs> See, I got you like this? Guy, get up! Get up! Not me, Caramba. I never die before dancing. When the sun. I never dance before dying. <laughs> Oh, we got it all, man. When the sun comes over that wall, you die. I die when it's a whose sun comes over the wall. Ready? <laughs> Aim! Aim! <laughs> <laughs> California had some of that smog there, boy. I'd live forever. I don't know that nonsense. Ready? Aim! Fire! <laughs> I don't remember that in rehearsals at all. <laughs> Where did that piece of business come from? I confess. Yes. What do you want to confess? I confess. I'm a traitor. I'm a no good, low down traitor. Yes, I know that. But on which side? Us traitors don't make any difference. Long we're dirty. We work either side. We don't. <laughs> You're going to give me secret information on the Alamo? Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you where their powder room is. Where? It's right next to the men's room. <laughs> You help us blow up the Alamo, and you are set free. Uh, okay, amigo, you got yourself a deal. I heard that, did I? How can you do that to Sam Houston and Davy Crockett? <laughs> did I? Tell me, how can you do that to... Boy, I got a good one for that one, but we can't let it go. <laughs> Believe me, you folks at home didn't see nothing, but it was awful funny. Did I? How can you do that to Sam Houston and Davy Crockett? Oh, don't worry about them. They got contracts with Disney. You mean against your own country and joining the Mexican army? Si, si, senorita. Did that answer your question? <laughs> Wait a minute, kid. Let's not get too serious. It's a comedy show. You know. I soon find out if you're on our side. Come. This cannon is pointed at the Alamo. Fire it. What? Oh. You blow up the Alamo, and you save your life. Okay. This is a pretty dangerous job. These things ain't too safe. You better stand over there with your men. Oh, gracias, amigo. You yeah. worry for my safety, huh? I worry for your safety. Gracias, amigo. Yeah. Vamos, <laughs> muchachos. You tell me when to let her go, boy. <laughs> All right. Fire! Fire, you bet, buddy. Whee! Boy, them vultures are having a picnic, ain't they? Oh. You wiped out Santa Ana and his men and have saved the Alamo. I have saved the Alamo. <laughs> that wasn't the cannon, eh? <laughs> How about a kid? And here he is, our star, Red Skelton. 
And we'd like to thank you for accepting the Alamo the way we presented it tonight. So until next week, good night, and may God bless. Good night.